Hey everyone, um, this is another uh, Cliff Off related video about um, going through a financial awakening and prosperity breakthrough through two very specific um, uh, angels. These are what I call the fallen angels or the negative aspect of the 72 angels, uh, Lavelle and Mahasya. And, um, the Cliff Off the aspect of these spirits um, changes everything. It's like going from, I don't know, high school uh, biology to, I don't know, PhD level whatever it's not the same thing and these spirits can take you to literally whatever the next level is for you and I've called it a financial awakening because they will literally reveal everything about your life your situation your beliefs your emotions that hold you back from going to the next level and that's a pretty significant thing considering that our money is very important to us our income our careers we identify with what we do for a living I am a writer I'm a magician copywriter. I do several things and that's what I identify with and that's what a financial awakening and prosperity breakthrough kind of is. Abundance breakthrough, whatever you want to call it. This is very deep stuff and these spirits will take you kind of almost in, in a way dis through discomfort and pain to um, guide you to where you need to be. And if, it, if you call that the next level, go for it. If you call that a waking up, go ahead. If you call that just living a better life, that's fine too. It doesn't matter. The labels don't matter, but the spirits matter when they uh, guide us to these uh, next levels, these next uh, plateaus, planes of existence we have with our money, sort of beliefs in general. This touches into uh, uh, sort of the energetic level of what it means to be prosperous, what it means to be sort of successful. We're hitting energetic success through these spirits because it gets very deep. They push you to the limit and you'll know yourself inside out because you don't have a choice in a way. And that's what the clopathic aspects of these spirits brings us because it's a lot heavier, it's a lot more intense, but it's a detox in a way, but also it's just a, an illumination, an awakening of your spirit in your mind so that you know what's going on. Labelle, our first spirit, sort of opens your eyes so that you understand what financial abundance and like, being successful with your money means to you. And you just understand what it means to uh, take yourself to where you need to be to be truly awake with your money situation and to destroy all the past beliefs about money and your finances in general that might be holding you back from reaching your goals and you develop stronger goals over time with your spirits because that is our natural condition to want to be better people over time and it is societal programming and just sort of um, old beliefs we have from the past um, I don't mean to bring it up but uh, religious beliefs and other like kind of um, beliefs from our upbringing can sometimes hinder us, prevent us from reaching the next level, and it's uh, the belief that we're, we should be poor. You have to be poor to be happy. I don't, know, I don't know how people believe that, but it's it's just something that they pick up from parents or uncles or relatives or anybody else in our lives that we've been around for too much, and we just collect those past beliefs. Uh, Mahasya is the final level to this. We only have two spirits here because they provide a very significant kick to your sort of psyche to your mind to your spirit so that you are evolved and you are awake in a very different way and Mahasya provides a uh, sort of a new mindset a new way of thinking and feeling of, about your finances and money situation in general and allows you to feel and be fully in tune with higher prosperity higher cash flow higher happiness in general as it relates to your money situation and these are not spirits to take lightly in any form it's like sort of working with the Egyptian spirits as I've worked with them or some of the uh, Greek spirits like Poseidon, Typhon, even Morpheus, my good god. It's just an incredibly deep experience to shift your life. And there's a few um, uh, complementary spirits, mirror spirits in the uh, cliff and in the uh, sort of fallen angel category of the negative aspect of the angels. But um, even working with uh, the Sumerian spirits can be very, very intense like this. But this is... Only two spirits are needed for this awakening, and they will push you to the max. It's not; uh, it doesn't have to be discomforting, but you will have your old and sort of nasty world of beliefs thrown up, and you won't. It won't be like a disaster or anything. It will just be sort of emotional. You might feel a little ashamed of what you believed in the past. You might feel a little guilt-ridden, a little fearful of the future because you've been trained to feel f uh, fear about having abundance and money. You know, all of those limiting beliefs come to the surface. And you, you eradicate them, you remove them, you erase them, dissolve them with the spirits. That's why it's so intense, because you are changing into who you are meant to be. And subconsciously, you don't want to change. And that's why it feels so challenging 
and you feel that resistance internally, just your subconscious screams out for sort of help, but if that this is the help that you're getting. It's it's artificially discomforting because you don't want to change because you convince yourself in some way that it's better to be like this rather than to be successful, to have money, to have success, to have happiness or whatever. But that's pretty much kind of it for this video. Financial awakening is not a small thing. I'm becoming a covering a very similar topic with the Egyptian, Greeks, and Sumerian spirits pretty soon. But uh, yeah, Lavelle and Mahasi are, are two of the really powerful and sort of illuminating spirits for financial abundance and su success in general. You just need to feel into the spirits. This is, as I've uh, shown others on uh, sigils and spirits before, the sigil for Mahasya from the Black Magic uh, Evocation of the Shemhamna Faroshim. Just meditating with that idea, that image right there will sort of wake you up to what you need to do. And that's what I've done myself, numerous times for myself and others. And that is more or less uh, the next level of uh, what we need to do. And um, if you want to learn more, please um, explore the links below. And as always, have the spirits guide you to where you need to be. Thank you.